What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, what's going on? Now I'm making this video. It's Mr. Warmack, by the way. I forgot to tell you who it was. Then again, you know who it was by the intro. So let's get cracking. Today I'm going to make a video about it. It's February right now. It's the f second week of February. And I'm going to do a video entitled, and it's every two years now, The Olympics. Do we really give a fuck anymore? Now, I'm not disrespecting all the athletes. and Like I said, if you're a world-class athlete, I understand the time. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. It's cold out here. <coughs> the time and the dedication that you put into your sport. What am I asking? Back in the 80s, when I was like, I was born in the 70s. Hell, I was born in 70. Like coming up the Olympics, me and my family would gather around the TV. We would actually watch it. Let me put it to you this way: the Olympics back then, as opposed to now, back then, you would get a you get a black family to watch the Olympic hockey games. That's real shit. I mean, now black I know now black folks watch hockey. I understand that, but. But back then, that's the only way you can get black folks to watch hockey was on the Olympics. But uh, now in this new day and age, you're like, I watch the Olympics, but when I watch it, I think the Olympics kind of fucked up adding all these fucking new sports. Now, I don't want to, I'm not disrespecting none of the sports, but I just my personal opinion. They added snowboarding. I mean, really? I'm just saying, you know, I'm not trying to be. You know, I'll disrespect you. Oh, shit. I mean, that type of day today, huh? They had snowboarding. They added, what else did they add? They added, they had a uh, mogul. Well, they had, um, mogul's been there, I think. I'm not sure. They had, well, they had the sports, they had a couple sports that are like the kid, popular with the kids. And like, we're all used to the same skiing, the mayor twins skiing down the slopes. Yeah, bitches, I really watched the Olympics. I'm trying to tell you. We all watch Nadia Comaneci. Uh, I'm telling you, I watch gymnastics too. But uh, this the Olympics now, nobody really like gives a shit. I think when they went to that two, every two year format rotating, I think people were just like, eh, well, whatever. But the, I think I think in America that has happened. I don't think in the foreign countries, because let's face it, that's all they got. If you look at their professional sports, well, some are okay outside of soccer. But other than that, who really watches the Olympics? I mean, I know I watch it, but at, at the end of the day, you know, it just doesn't have the same appeal like it did back then. I don't know. I had time to do a video. I had this little audio recorder in my hand, so I did one. You know, if you got tips or advice for me, give them to me. I'll, I'll take it from anybody. But I'll be back. You can count on that. Peace. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is, Mr. Warmack, A.K. Nah, y'all already heard that intro. I'm not trying to bore you, but uh, today I came back. I had a question in my inbox, in my and if you did, if you want to inbox me, just go to you know out of focus, no out of underscore focus at gmail.com. No, 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 not that. At lowrententertainment.com. Yeah, I got my own email address. Thank you. But I sent me questions. This question was sent to me, and they were asking me, like, how many channels should I start up? When I mean I, I mean the people, you know, the folks out there, how many people should one starting? And I'm going to give you the honest and my realistic answer. I'm not going to tell you to do this, but, you know, just think about what I'm saying and then go from there. Realistically, if you're just starting out, or even even if you've been on here for a while, but you ain't have you don't have the views, start off with uh, two channels. Have your main channel, then have a backup channel first. That's what I did. I had a main channel because back in the day, YouTube was clipping people's videos for some bullshit. No, I'll be honest with you. 
people were reporting for like people were reporting just out of spite. Let me let me be honest with you. I know there's a lot of pirated shit on YouTube, and understand that that has to go because of the violence. But there were people who were just reporting because they didn't like you, and they would report your video, and YouTube would delete it, and then you'd have to go through the rigmarole of trying to get your video back up. I mean, it was it was serious shit. This was like uh, maybe four years ago. So when I first came in, I had one channel, this channel right here, the Low Rent Entertainment. And then I said to myself, because a, a couple of idiots out there got me with their little crybaby shit, but uh, little pansies, but uh, should be expected. But what I did is I, I started a channel, The Truth As You Know. Some of you know me as The Truth As You Know It. And but that channel got clipped. And I know who the fuck did it. And uh, YouTube took that channel down. So what I did is I just started. Now I wasn't gonna fight to get that channel back. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Even though it was moderately successful, it wasn't as successful as this channel. And success is whatever you determine in your own eyes, not what I tell you it is. But uh, it was moderately successful. But I didn't build that. I didn't. I didn't want to fight for that channel because I was like, you know what, fuck it. So what I did is I started another channel from scratch called you No know, Dirty Business. What's going on with Dirty Business? And I did, I did that channel, and that's why I haven't been on this channel. Oh, no, this is the Red Herring channel. See, I, I get myself confused. And that's why I, I haven't been on my main channel a lot, because I was building up my Dirty Business channel. And my Dirty Business channel got fine and dandy where it's sitting on its own right now. Now, then I said to myself, I saw everybody was doing I saw. I don't know a lot of you. I saw everybody was doing it. Well, not everybody was doing it. Was, I seen a lot of people doing it, and then I jumped in. I saw people doing podcasts, so I said, why not? And I gave this podcast thing a shot. And with this podcast thing, I'm going to be truthful, this is, this is easy. All you need is some type of audio recorder. And, and like, I don't do it, but you can. All you need is, like, I got a little, I got a little Sony. I forget what the audio is, but there's a, there's a, get yourself a, there's, they cost no more than, like, the, for just to use one, it's 30 bucks. But I got an audio recorder, I throw it in Vegas. I slap my intro, and I slap the, if I'm saying I'm talking about microphones, I'll slap a picture of a microphone, or maybe a couple microphones, on the video, and rendering is sweet, it's just, you know, it's easy, and I kind of like this podcast thing, well, back to the topic at hand, how many channels you should have, I told you you should only have two channels right now, now if you're jumping off like that, and you're, you're just getting views out the wazoo, do as many channels as you can do comfortably. Don't do channels and done. Just leave them sit there because people will be like, you know what the fuck? Like, I got three channels. No, I got four channels. See, I, I'm telling you, it's hard for me to keep up. I'm driving this fucker this they got in the other lane. Hey, stay in your own lane, bitch. All right, I'm back. But, uh, I got four channels. I got the low rent channel. I got the dirty business. I got the. Red Herring, no, yeah, I forgot, I got the um, Ignorant Americans channel, and that Ignorant Americans channel was popping, but I just did, I, I haven't been working on it like I should have, because I try, I mean, every, every week I, I, when I, I work on all my channels, it's to what degree of each channel I work on, that's all it is, but at the end of the proverbial day, I tell you start off with two channels, and then once you start getting popping like that, build build yourself another channel you know just have two channels have one for this have one for the backup that's what I do and like I said it doesn't go from there you can people people will tell you if you're doing good or not you know so do your two channels if you're popping do more and if you're not popping keep your two channels and study how to get popping all right, I'm out. Peace.